Troy. Welcome back again. Cloud cover started streaming in yesterday and we start seeing signs of that as early as Friday, but the main storm system is still offshore. That is set to move in as early as around 10 o'clock this morning and rain is going to pick up, especially by this evening. In fact, it's going to be a wet day by the time we head into the afternoon hours. Rainfall right now is only just off the Oregon coast, but that'll start to settle in again towards around 9, 10 o'clock this morning. You can see the heart of the main storm system. Area of low pressure is well up to the north, right off the coast of Vancouver Island. But what's happening is moisture is kind of getting wedged right into the cold front attached to this low pressure system. And that is sending this wall of water right toward the Oregon coast. And that is going to spread inland through the course of the day. So let's time things out. Showers start to pick up as early as around 11 o'clock this morning. You can see still relatively light in nature, but notice moving into the afternoon. Rain gets heavier and it gets much more widespread. Here's the main axis of the moisture sent right across the region and it is going to be a rainy evening, rainy night tonight by 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Activity will start to wrap up, but you can still see some pretty steady rainfall up into the foothills and cascades. Now for Monday, we should manage to get a few sun breaks out there. And let me emphasize few because notice it's still mostly cloudy across the region. We have another uh, cold front that's going to be approaching on Tuesday. It should hold to the north for the most part, but we're still going to hold the chance of a few showers into Tuesday. So how much rain are we expecting? These are some November, December rainfall amounts. We could pick up anywhere from an inch to an inch and a half across Willamette Valley and some locations up to the foothills could easily get two inches of rain. So this also means we are seeing rain on top of snow up into portions of the Cascades. So we could be dealing with some rapid river rises over the next couple of days. So again, if you live near a river or stream, just be mindful if you start to see it rise exponentially, make sure you get to higher ground over the next couple of days because we are going to be tracking some possibly flooded streams and rivers into Tuesday. Now, we're talking about rain, but wind gusts is another big concern, especially through this evening. It's mainly out toward the coast as the cold front starts to march in. That cold front sending in the atmospheric river, but also these gusty winds near possibly 40 miles per hour toward the coast and up into the passes. Those winds shift out toward the east side tomorrow. Notice if you're headed out towards central Oregon, we could have wind gusts near 40 miles per hour there, and even some of the passes near 50 mile per hour wind gusts. So activity will start to calm down but it's really not until the second half of the week. And once we head into the second half of the week, we are tracking, tracking high pressure and that is going to lead to temperatures very close, if not surpassing 90 degrees for some some communities. So for Sunday, again, 62 degrees, gusty winds near 40 miles per hour. Notice by Friday, though, clearing things out, warming up about 72 degrees for the Roseburg area. Uh, rain showers are expected to pick up through the course of the day, kind of transitioning into a steady rain overnight tonight and into Monday. Then we clear things out and there's the heat back up to 90 degrees by Friday up into the Cascades 48 today. We are not going to be dealing with snow because snow levels are way up high. In fact, even at pass level near 80 degrees next Friday. And here across the Willamette Valley around 62 later on today. So rain picking up mainly after 10 or so and then a Complete 180, Joey. We're back up into the mid 80s <laughs> by the second half Look, of the week. Look, you're talking about those rising rivers, maybe setting up for a good float weekend that, next weekend. That actually looks really good. So the big story about the next couple of days is it's going to be kind of murky probably because we're seeing a lot of snow melt as well. But this weekend, I mean, temperatures back up in the 80s next week. Chilly temps in the water. Though. Yeah, be cautious about that. Water temperature is still around 49, 50 degrees up chilly. in the foothills. No so. bueno. Just got to get to next weekend. We'll survive. Thanks yes, a lot, sir. Holden. Now here's this week's edition of In the Garden, sponsored by Johnson Brothers Garden Market.